All right, so in this video and the next one, we're going to take a look at instantaneous rates of change, which remember is essentially if you have a curve and let's just say it looks like this. Now, the average rate of change was between any two points on the curve, which was just simply the slope of the line between the two points. Instantaneous rate of change takes one point. Well, it technically takes two points. But then what we're going to do is, let's say this is the point where we want to find the instantaneous rate of change, the one on the left here. We take this point and we move it closer and closer until we get to essentially one point. And remember that the graphical significance of instantaneous rate of change is the slope of the tangent line. So remember that the formula for the instantaneous rate of change is the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h. So we're saying that this right here is a minus f of a all over h. Now, in this case, a is 3, so we have the limit as h approaches 0 of f of 3 plus h minus f of 3 over h. So at this point, it's a little bit more clear what to do. We have to find f at 3 plus h, which means substitute 3 plus h into the function and simplify. Then we have to find f of 3. Then we subtract them. And then we hope that it's simplified. But before we do that, let's just talk about notation. There is a notation for instantaneous rate of change that has to do with f. So we actually call this f prime of a. And that more or less is a meaning because it's called the derivative, which we'll talk about in the next section. But it came from function f, but it's not function f, so it's a derivative of f. It's something related to f. So our instantaneous rate of change here will be f prime of 3. Okay, so let's look at the different parts of this. So if we want to find f of 3 plus h, so f of 3 plus h is 3 plus h squared minus 2 times 3 plus h plus 7. It's supposed to be a 2. Now 3 plus h, the quantity squared, is 9 plus 6h plus h squared minus 6 minus 2h plus 7. And if we combine like terms, that looks like h squared plus 4h. 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 7 is 10. So that's going to go into the limit here. So f of 3 plus h becomes h squared plus 4h plus 10. Now, what is f of 3? I know what I'm hoping it is. But f of 3 is 3 squared minus 2 times 3 plus 7, which is 9 minus 6 plus 7. 9 minus 6 is 3 plus 7 is, ah, good, 10. So f of 3 gets replaced by 10, and then that's all over h. And then we have the limit as h approaches 0 of h squared plus 4h all over h. And at this point, we can divide through by h, thereby simplifying the expression. So if limit as h approaches 0 of h plus 4, h squared over h is h, 4h over h is 4. And now we can directly substitute 0 for h, and we get 0 plus 4, which is 4. So therefore, the slope of the tangent line, which is the instantaneous rate of change of this function, is 4. Which means if you were to draw the graph of the function and draw the tangent line at x equals 3, it would have a slope of 4. Okay? So there's one example. We'll come back with a rational function example just to get more practice with that. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.